on the outskirts of Lyon, in the town of Saint Priest, an apartment building of 26 residences is being transplanted using HART, a retrofit toolkit that aims to boost energy efficiency while enhancing tenants' comfort and reducing the energy poverty gap. The building belongs to the French public housing company Es Metropole Habitat. Qui est un bâtiment qui est classé en énergie G, 450 kWh par mètre carré par an, ce qui est l'un des bâtiments les plus énergivores de notre parc. Nous avons fait le choix de dire bah, prenons le bâtiment le plus énergivore et testons-le pour en faire un bâtiment autonome en énergie. The goal is to transform the Class G building into an Energy Class A1, reducing its energy consumption to almost zero and increasing the overall quality of the building. On a un bâtiment qui est quasiment autogéré et qui consomme très très peu d'énergie. Donc l'idée c'est quand même de réduire les factures énergétiques des personnes qui sont à l'intérieur, qui souffrent aujourd'hui de ça, de précarité énergétique, et en même temps un bâtiment qui n'a quasiment pas besoin d'entretien et de maintenance. Donc ça, ça aide aussi le bailleur à, dans le temps, à pas mal de tranquillité par rapport à son patrimoine. Heart is an integrated approach to building and technology renovation. Once the construction work is complete, this building will be capable of self-producing and self-consuming energy via a sophisticated cloud-based system that analyzes the energy use of tenants. The difference with the classical renovation is we are not going step by step, but we are using a holistic approach in order to connect the elements between them. We are using the PV solar, for example, connected to heat pumps, and also all the uh, elements are managed by what we call a cloud-based platform, which is interacting with the tenants and then we are gathering the information in order to improve the performance daily. The project is coordinated by the Polytechnic University of Milan. The works began a year before the pandemic hit. This posed an additional challenge to that of introducing an experimental renovation system. It was quite challenging in uh, the sanitary context. And uh, it was challenging too, because this building is occupied by tenants. So we have to organize the works with the tenants. While the presence of residents was one of the more challenging aspects of the project, it was also a strong point, proving that renovation can be done without anyone needing to leave their homes. Pel do travaux, je reste à la maison. Les personnes les fait tout la maison. La peinture, le travail, tout ce qui est besoin. Moi, je reste avec mon copain à la maison. Et pas mes d'orange. Non. Some tenants, however, are tired of living on a construction site. S'il n'y avait pas le confinement, eh, les travaux auraient été finis déjà. Mais là, ça, ça traîne un peu. On a bientôt deux ans, hein, et ils n'ont pas encore fini. The pandemic imposed logistical and technical demands. Remote communication and supply difficulties delayed the works. However, the experience is proving formative for partners. The whole challenge is to make it a large scale. So if we prove that it works on a real building uh, with real tenants, and if you prove that it works under the climates of Lyon and the climates of Bagnolo in Italy, that will convince us that can be used also in other countries. The current renovation rate, a less than 1% per year, will need to at least double to reach the EU's energy efficiency, renewables and climate objectives. On espère euh, qu'il portera ses fruits en fait parce que bon c'est quand même hyper euh, novateur et on est voilà si on atteint vraiment les 80% d'économie d'énergie, on sera super fier de l'avoir fait. Pour l'instant, ça reste expérimental. At the heart of the green revolution, this holistic experimental system could become key to the future of renovations that transform our buildings and cities.